Hello and welcome to Boutique Mind and Body Retreats with Attitude Fitness Yoga Pose of the Week. Today, or this week's pose, is the dancer's pose. It's easy for everybody to do because as usual there are grades. So we start with a quad stretch, which most of us will do when we're in, um, when we come in from a run or just after a class. So I want you to start thinking about putting all of the weight on one leg. I don't mind which one it is. Chances are you're going to start with your strongest leg though. Start to bend the knee and tuck the bottom under. This arm will automatically go out as I'm taking my foot in my hand. My foot is on my bottom and I'm pushing my foot into my hand so I can feel the stretch down the front. So I'm going to quickly change and do it on the other side just to limber up or loosen up those calves. Sorry, those quads even. Now I can tell straight away that this, this quad is not as flexible as that one. I can't get my foot on my bum. I'm thinking about pushing through the hips so I can feel the stretch going down there. Don't think about your knee. Try to keep the knees together and create more balance. Woo. Bend the knees. So the knee is pointing straight down to the floor. And now to develop it into a dancer's pose, to gain more balance, we bend the knees a little bit more. The idea is, when you do it, you need to be able to see your foot over your head, if you're looking in the mirror, or a screen. So roll those shoulders back, bend the knees, arm goes out for balance. I'm gonna bend the knees some more, taking the shoulders back, keeping the knee pointed to the floor, and now pushing the foot away from my bottom. <laughs> and there you have it, a dancer's pose. Very soon, two hands pulling it over the head.